full moon. You are round and bright the full moon. Where is the full moon? No moon? Where is the full moon? Hi full moon, you are back. Never leave me, please. A month to see the full moon again. I can see the full moon only once a month. Why does the moon appear sometimes, like this banana shape? And other times like that completely circle, like a big round ball. Hmm, I want a banana. The moon is always round. The shape of the moon never changes. What we see from Earth, however, is a different story. We can only see the day side of moon, and we cannot see the night side of moon. Like Earth, the moon has a day side and a night side. The sun always illuminates the day side moon, and the sun does not illuminate the night side moon. Lunar faces. There are eight faces of the moon. The moon is orbiting the Earth. The moon's shape looks different. The different shapes of the moon are called faces. Judy lives in America. Let's see how Judy sees the moon at night. When the moon is between sun and earth, Judy faces only the dark part of the moon. It is called new moon. The moon orbits to the left. Judy can see a tiny light in the moon on the right side. It is called waxing crescent moon. Waxing means growing. The moon keeps orbiting. Judy sees more of the light in the side of the moon. The half moon on the right side is called a first quarter. As the light in the side keeps growing, Judy sees almost the whole light in the side. It is called waxing gibbous. Gibbous means Burging or swelling. It is a full moon. Judy sees the entire round lit on the moon. It is called a full moon. As the moon continues in its orbit, Judy begins to see less lit side. The light is on left side. It is called waning gibbous. Waning means decreasing. Then Judy sees another quarter moon lit on the left side. It is called last quarter. Judy sees another crescent moon lit on the left side. It is called waning crescent. Finally back to the new moon. It takes a month, 29, 0.5 days to be exact. The phases are new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent. After new moon, the moon starts waxing. Waxing means growing. After full moon, the moon starts waning. Waning means decreasing. The side of the moon and its phases vary depending on our location on Earth. Countries in the different hemispheres see the moon from a completely different vantage point from each other. Pretty much everyone lives in the northern hemisphere. An estimated 90% of the population of the Earth lives in the northern hemisphere. We have looked how Judy sees the moon phases. In the northern hemisphere the sunlit part of the moon moves from right to left. In the northern hemisphere the first quarter looks like a growing D, the last quarter looks like a C.
DOC, D shape at first quarter, O shape at full moon, C shape at last quarter. In the southern hemisphere the sunlit part moves from the left to the right. In the southern hemisphere it looks like a C. In the southern hemisphere the first quarter looks like a growing C, the last quarter looks like a D. COD, C shape at first quarter, O shape at full moon, D shape at last quarter. The lunar phase cycle, from new moon to new moon, is 29.5 days, about a month. The word moon is derived from a month. They look the same size to me. The sun and the moon are about the same size when you look at them in the sky. The sun's diameter is about 400 times larger than that of the moon and the sun is also about 400 times farther from Earth. The sun and the moon looks the same size, just thanks to the coincidence that the sun is about 400 times farther away than the moon and also about 400 times bigger. Solar eclipses occur at new moon, when the moon is between the sun and Earth. The sun can be completely blocked by moon, this phenomena is called a solar eclipse. When the moon passes between earth and the sun, the moon can block the sun completely. Even though the moon is much smaller than the sun, because the moon is much closer to us than earth. Therefore, the moon can fully block the sun's light from earth's perspective. Solar eclipses occur at new moon, when the moon is between the sun and earth. Let's do an experiment. What you need is a lamp, a ball with a stick, you in a dark room. The lamp represents the sun, the ball represents the moon, your head represents the earth. Hold the stick from the ball, and you rotate in a counterclock. The moon revolves around the earth in a counterclockwise motion. When there is no sunlight, you cannot see the moon. When there is sunlight, you can see the moon, partially or whole. New moon, when the moon is between sun and earth, we can't see any of the lighted side of the moon from earth. Waxing crescent, now we move to our left, we can begin to see a tiny lighted side. First quarter, as we move to the left, we see half of the sphere, which is a quarter moon. Waxing gibbous, as we keep orbiting, we see almost the whole at side, we call a gibbous moon. Full moon, when we can see the entire round, that's a full moon. Waning gibbous, as the moon continues in its orbit, we begin to see less and less light at side, we're back to gibbous moon, but this time the light is on the opposite side. Last quarter, we see another quarter moon, the half moon has lit on the left side. Waning crescent, we see the waning crescent, that has lit on the left side.
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel.